How's everybody doing today? Today we're going to get into a topic that's that's really you know in it's it's in the news. It's, it's all over everywhere right now, and it's it's very important. But here's the thing: it's not new, and the conversation actually has been going on for quite a while. And and I've come to realize that most people just were not paying attention to what's going on. But today we're going to talk about AI and the fact that you're already using it. It's already part of your life. And the reality of it is it's going to become more of a part of your life. And, you know, myself, I found myself for the past several years kind of running around like Chicken Little saying the sky is falling, the sky is falling. Well, the sky has fallen. And it's all about your perspective on whether the sky has fallen or is, you know, the sky is the limit. And so, you know, today on this, on this, on this video, we're just going to kind of delve in and say, well, you know, here's some of the, here's some of the realities that, that we have to look forward to in the, in the future. So welcome to well, and we're going to just kind of dive in here because we're going to talk more about this as we're going forward, you know, over the next few weeks and months and so forth. Okay. You know, we're talking about AI. We're talking about, you know, you're hearing a lot about um, chat GPT. You're hearing a lot about, you know, just various and different, you know, AIs that are available. But here's the reality. If you have a smartphone, you're already introduced to AI. You know, if you're talking to a company, you're calling this automated, you know, um, response, you're already dealing with AI. When your monthly bills get paid and processed, you're already dealing with AI. The reality of it is, is AI is already a part of your life. And so now it's time that we're going through a process where we're, it's about integrating, you know, AI into, into our lives and starting to utilize it in our daily businesses, you know, in our daily processes. And so, you know, one thing that, um, like with ChatGPT, that's very helpful is, it's, you know, helping people that, you know, have a business that need um, the extra head that they never had before, you know, to help them, you know, kind of, you know, produce documents or, you know, you know, get a little research done real fast or whatever, you know, so now you kind of have it at your disposal. But here's the thing, you know, for those who are not, you know, literate in, in, in the processes in the first place, they're still going to need some kind of help for the next few months. But here's the thing about where we're at with technology. And this is one conversation that you're probably not hearing a lot about. But now we've entered into a point now. It's a point of velocity. OK, it's all about the speed of things now. And what we're doing now is, you know, velocity is kicking up and, you know, and it's exponential at this point. So what used to take five years, you know, only takes, you know, five weeks. And what takes five weeks now will only take, you know, five days you know, five weeks from now and five, five weeks from now, what it takes five days will only take five hours, you know, five days from there, because we've entered into a, such a point of velocity. Now that there's so much input being put in, you know, to this technology, it's actually growing exponentially at this point now. And so, you know, in, in five to six months time, it'll be part of our lexicon and it'll be part of our everyday lives even more than it is now. So what does that mean? For, for you, for, for me, for anybody. Now, me, you know, I've spent the last, you know, several years, you know, inundated in studying these things and, and talking to people and really trying to integrate it into my business processes, you know, as I develop both of my businesses. And so for me, you know, I've already, you know, for the past two years, I've been studying a book. It's called Quantum Marketing. I'll give it a plug real quick. It's called Quantum Marketing. Now, and I've talked to people about it. And people are just, you know, I mean, the fact of the matter is, is people are slow to get on what's already been there. Now, I've been studying quantum marketing. I suggested I'll put the I'll put a link in, a, in the title so you can check it out yourself. But I've been studying this book. I've gone through it, you know, multiple times, at least three to four, maybe, you know, maybe five times. And this book, you know, easily and simply, you know, conveys the point and from a marketing standpoint of, you know, we're entering into what's called the fifth paradigm. Now, the fifth paradigm is very interesting to me. It's very interesting to all of us because that's literally what this is, you know, the Internet of Things, you know, AI, you know, how you're going to implement it into your marketing processes, you know, so forth and so on. You know, I've been studying it for the past two years. You know, I've been I've been, you know, adding it to my business processes. 
You know, I've been looking at my businesses from the lens of, okay, this is happening. How is my business going to integrate into, into, you know, this new, this new world order of AI and machine learning and, and, you know, you know, 5G technology and the internet of things, you know, so the businesses that I'm building right now are businesses that fit right into that, that utilize that. And so now as we've hit this point of velocity, you know, with, 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 with technology and so forth, you know, this is where a business like mine or businesses like mine, you know, are able to take advantage of what's coming and what's, what's here now and what's, what's going on. And we're able to hit it, you know, and get into some velocity to where we can pick up steam now because we've been building on this for, for, for a few years now. Now, a lot of businesses have neglected to do this. I'm just going to be honest. And but a lot of businesses and corporations have not neglected to do this. They've employed, they've created new positions in their corporations. You know, whether it's whether it's, you know, you know, you know, chief, you know, TikTok officer, whether it's, <laughs> you know, um, um, a chief technology officer, which is a popular you know, position that's being um, developed more often now at the highest levels in corporations, because corporations realize no matter how big the corporation you know that a lot of corporations are kind of slow to the race, but what they have is they have the capital to respond and to rapidly catch up to all the modern technologies. And here's the thing. They are able to catch up to the better technologies that have, have, have had a lot of the bugs worked out because they didn't have to invest in the technologies when they were, you know, frumpy, when they were, you know, not, you know, when they haven't been certified, I guess so to say, or when they haven't been improved on. But now we've hit, we've entered into a point of velocity to where these technologies are going to be, you know, in the next six months, these technologies are going to be really, you know, running a whole lot better because they're going to have a lot more input. They're going to have a lot, have a lot more hands on, you know, um, you know, really working to work out the bugs and so forth. I mean, even myself, I've been using GPT and I tell you, you know, it's, it's, it is a game changer. And it's and it's very it's very interesting. But for a person like me who writes and a person, you know, who has, you know, a perspective, I can you know see it from a different lens. And so it doesn't do all my work for me. But what it does is, is it helps me to clarify, to expand on what it is that I already do. So for me, it's great. For me, it's great. You know, for 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 those who don't do it at all, you know, it's like, you know, you won't probably see the value in it right now but you know but here's the thing start working on it don't 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 let that don't let that fool you start working on it and so forth because here's the thing if it's not part if it's not integrated into your business if it's not integrated into your process on growing forward it you know you're going to be you're going to be left behind in a lot of ways and unfortunately unfortunately a lot of people are falling into that and i see it and i see it and it's um unfortunately kind of unavoidable for a lot of folks but for those of you that that are already you know really paying attention or really proactive or really you know you know you know technologically savvy who really you know embrace who who is more of a futurist as opposed to a you know a traditionalist that doesn't want to you know change their ways well you know they're going to struggle but but somebody who who's you know got a a futuristic you know mindset you know you're going to thrive and so like i said like I've been building my businesses for the past, you know, several years, you know, based upon the knowledge that knowing that this was going to happen. So I'm not surprised. I'm not overwhelmed and confused by what's happening. No, I, I matter of fact, I read this in my in my business plan. Um, shucks, over over a couple years ago, you know, to integrate technology into my business, you know, and this is just another step, you know, towards that, you know. It's, it's a reality. It's, it's literally a reality. So I spend a lot of time making sure that my businesses are able to be utilized and can thrive with this new technology. And I suggest that you do the same thing, you know. And so, like I say, whether it's, you know, whether there's a lot, there's a lot of different AI apps that you can even tap into, whether it's, you know, augmented reality, what, what you're already doing, which apparently that's the one that everybody's already, you know, really kind of catching on, you know, getting their faces and their pictures all done and everything doing you know, on, you know, social media and so forth. So a lot of people are already doing it, you know, but I mean, I don't know if you realize what you're actually doing. Um, are you doing it for a business pro purpose? Or are you just doing it for enjoyment? Either way, if, if that's your choice, but you're already doing it. AI is already a part of your life. 
And so it's time to start embracing it in a real way and not 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 playing with it like 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 it's a you know a kid's game or something like that, which you know a lot of kids' games are you know already you know you know have AI included in it, and the kids are already more advanced than the adults. So let's be honest, that's probably a whole another video that we'll have. But the kids are already you know this is like this is like nothing to them because this is all they've ever known. So, but that that's definitely another video. But here's I just want to kind of point out you know you know the sky has fallen, you know AI is here. You know, and now what, you know, what it grows into is totally predicated upon what we put into it. That's the important part about this. AI is nothing more than what we put into it, you know, and so that's the, the issue. The issue is people don't trust other people to put into it because they don't trust other people already. Well, God bless you, but you need to pray on that. That's a, that's a big, that's a big issue. It's a true issue. It's a true issue, but this is why it's, in, this is why it's, we're more, it's more important than ever you know, if you don't want that to happen, that you start making sure that you're inputting into the AI, you know, the, the, the I guess, you know, good moral standing that, that hopefully you may have or what have you, you know, to really curate, you know, the technology around, around, you know, your personal beliefs and so forth. But, you know, that's, you know, that's up to you. Time will tell. But just understand, you know, you get out of it what you put into it. And I'm going to use a, a movie as an example because we've all been indoctrinated in this for quite a while. There's literally no excuse to be caught on unawares right now. There's a little movie came out back in, you might have heard of it. It came out back in 1985, 86, I believe. It is called Short Circuit. You might have heard of it. It's a funny little movie about a, um, about a robot named um, Johnny Five, you know, number five. And there were five, you know, robots that were created by a techno technology company. I believe it was in like Seattle or what have you. Which is kind of ironic. Let's kind of look at that. Now, this is th this is back, you know, 36, 37 years ago. You know what I'm saying? And we all watched it. And it was funny, funny, funny. But it was actually very, very telling. And it actually told you everything you needed to know about where we're going in the future and where we're at in the future. What happened was, you know, Johnny Five got struck by lightning. You know, it was a, it was a tech technology, you know, technological, you know, wonder of a robot that was that was made. You know, and they, they wanted to use it for military uses. But now he got struck by lightning and his code got rewritten and scrambled. And so he became aware of himself. And so as he became aware of himself, I love the movie. So that's why I know so much about it. I don't even have to look at it or anything to talk about it because I've watched it so many times. But as he became self-aware, you know, the first thing, the very first thing that he said, the very first thing that he said was need input, need input. And so he went on this journey of getting input. And as he got more input and became more aware, his personality started to form. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I laugh because, I mean, this, this is exactly what, you know, what, what, what's occurring. I mean, it was very, I mean, it was just, it was very, you know, everything in that movie, even from the opening scenes where the little robots were, you know, going around serving people and for the, you know, the, the, the robotic hand that was playing music. That was being pro programmed by Newton Crosby, you know, who was the name of the guy. But anyway, the, the reality of it is, is that movie tells you everything you need to know about AI, where we're at now and where we're going. Now, everything in that movie, every single solitary thing in that movie, if you fast forward now from 1986 to 2023, every single thing in that movie is actual technology actual real technology that exists today, actual real applications that exist and actually at a higher, you know, a higher grade of technology than even at that time. So I'm saying this to say, you know, we've been getting indoctrinated into the understanding of this for a long time. Now, how you receive it is how you receive it. But I'm going to tell you, you know, just like Johnny Five said, need input. You know, that's what AI is saying, you know, need input and it's getting the input, you know, but what forms in that personality is based upon the input that it's getting. And it's getting, you know, it's getting millions of encounters daily now, and that's exponentially, you know, speeding up. And so the velocity on this is through the roof right now. The velocity is, is, is crazy. It's getting more input than ever, and it's growing really fast and you got to make sure that you're starting to input into it and so that you can start extracting out of it what you need for your for your business and your businesses in the future and your work and what have you, even in your daily life. So 
Uh, well, you know, chat in, chat in. I, I want to, I want to hear from you. You know, what I'm saying, talk, talk to me. You know, tap in. You know, put something in the comments and let's have a conversation and say, well, you know, the sky has fallen. AI is here. Talk to you later. God bless you.